Barbara from the valley, and I thought we'd play a little hooky from work and do some surf fishing. We gotta go pick up an HVAC part for us, so I figured since we're going to be by the beach, we're gonna do a little bit of surf fishing. out this place this is a really cool place it's called Arroyo Burrow Beach it's in Santa Barbara there's free day parking there's a lot of space it's a really nice beach looks like it's very popular it's about six o'clock just picked up the equipment I needed from the supply house and thought I would give a shot with one hour left of daylight see if we can catch some fish there's even a restaurant over here pretty cool location check this beach out can't beat Santa Barbara beaches, but let's get in the water. Our line's in the water anyway. All right, a local told me to go down here at the end. There's actually some rocks down here and the way the current flows a little bit towards south, it actually gets a little rip current and there's actually some kelp down there. So we're gonna shoot up down there. I've got plenty of lures if I lose a couple or whatever, hopefully not. But he said he's caught some calicos and some rockfish down there, which is kind of surprising for surf fishing. But first time here, and I actually already love the beach. I didn't know this was here previously. I just Googled it. Knew I had about an hour of daylight after picking that HVAC equipment up. Thanks to Chris at Johnstone Supply in Goleta. He really helped me out a lot. I didn't know the place closed at four. Google said five and he actually came from his house. Met me down there about 5.30 because of traffic from the valley. So anyways, shout out to him over there. He's the store manager. If you guys ever need anything, I'm sure he'll go out of his way to help you as well. Anyways, let's get down here and get to some fishing. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this area, the rocky area the guy was talking about, got a lot of kelp and I was gonna use the lucky craft or the Kalissa or just sandworms but all those are not weedless so I think I'm gonna switch to a fluke style weedless I've got a white with me let's see if we can get that going all right so that's what I got a little bit of weight weedless until it gets kind of ripped apart see how long it lasts and the weight I'm using is the five aught hook, and it's uh, it's an ounce and a half. We'll see how it goes. So here is wide view, and I don't know. I'm kind of the wide view is cool in certain situations, but it doesn't give you a one-to-one -one perspective. So I targeted this area over here, right there. There was a little trough. I didn't get much, but the weed list is actually working. If you look at all those little specks in the water, that's all kelp. But then I walk down here a bit. You see all this kelp? Floating around. I didn't know this place existed, to be honest with you. And I don't go, come up to Santa Barbara much, but man, that's a kayaker's dream right there sit out there, catch calcos all day, maybe some white sea bass. So I'm gonna look into this place a little more. And then I moved down here because it there's actually a trough right here. So I'm gonna try that right now. All right, time to switch it up. I came from down there where it was really kelpy. And my weed list set up with the fluke and the weight just wasn't lasting. I kept switching them out because somehow the hook would just pop through. There was so much kelp. So there's a little less down this way towards where I walked from, that restaurant down there. We'll try this. Got some kelp. Not bad though. Ah, 
Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not good. Well, I didn't lose it. Well, we're gonna try for some shallow stuff because the kelp is about 30 feet out. I'm gonna just go sideways and bring it in. I've caught in perch in six inches of water, so I know they're out there. The problem is, is it's outgoing tide, but it is sunset, so might get lucky. It is really rocky over here, too. That doesn't help. All right, we're gonna move down a little bit. Maybe find some clear water. I'm heading to kelp over here, so it's low tide. My fault, but I thought I'd get the uh, sunset bite. Just didn't have the right stuff. Maybe I didn't have. Maybe I couldn't have the right stuff. Maybe just bad time of day. But anyways, I wasn't even gonna post this video. But this beach is so cool, even as a a travel person rather than a fishing person to document it and share with you guys. Thought it'd be cool when we get closer to the restaurant I'll show a little more but back there by the palm trees is the restaurant to the right is the parking lot and then back behind that mountain is the 101. On the way to the restaurant you'll see this little creek ends over here I'm sure high tide it comes over this little area goes into the ocean but I'll show you when I get over on the pathway to the truck. They talk about steelhead, so I'm interested to see more about that. So let's get over to the restaurant and show you that. So here we are at the restaurant. This is called Beach House at Hendry's Beach. There's the stairs up to the walkway. There's more of the restaurant. There's the entrance. Pretty cool place.
good old perch. I think the next one is the steelhead they were, I was telling you about. That'd be neat. I know they have that up near San Francisco in their creeks down to the water. This is more the restaurant parking lot. And then the public day use one is in the back. And there's the creek. Pretty cool. Didn't even know. See ya. There we go. Let's see. So the upper Royal Burrow Creek has historically been a spawning ground. Wow, that's so cool. Threats are... Yeah, I'm not sure up north on their thriveability, but it sounds like ours isn't as good as theirs. And I'm not even sure if you're allowed to keep them. So here's the entrance from the road. Take a left for the day use. I think it shuts down at sunset. And that's more for the restaurant. Pretty cool. Truck's way down there. Lots of parking though. I would definitely encourage you to do this. As we're walking down to the day use area, there's this uh, self-service dog wash, which I think is cool. And to be honest, there was so many dogs being walked down there from locals or maybe just nearby residents. So that's also a kind of an added bonus. Well, that was a lot of fun. We drove up to Santa Barbara to get the equipment that I needed for a job. It's actually right here in the box. And thought, why not? We're at the beach. We live about an hour away from the beach, so it's kind of nice to get out. And it was a lot of a lot of fun. This is a cool place. I definitely want to come back with a kayak, get into those kelp, belt, kelp patties. And look what I got since no fish. Caught a beer. Have a beer. Chill. Go home. It was a good time. Thanks again for watching.